Okay guys, back at uh, Gino 3W, and as you can see, I have a Rancho shirt on. Yeah, I buy a lot of parts at Rancho. I've had a lot of people been asking me now, why do you wear that Rancho shirt? Well, I buy parts from Rancho, and uh, Sam's like a brother to me. Uh, we're on the phone maybe two or three times a day. Uh, I'm ordering parts, so... We got to know one another pretty good, and uh, he's a heck of a good guy, and uh, been a good friend too. So that's why I wear the shirt. Uh, I wear my shirts. I wear his shirts. I wear Brad Penn shirts. Uh, uh, all kinds of different shirts, not just my own. Although sometimes on some of those videos, you probably think all I have is my shirts, but no, I don't. I got a Rancho shirt. I got the Brad Penn T-shirt. You'll see me with it on. You'll see me with, uh, oh, who knows what for shirt on. Maybe uh, uh, Ohio Tom's on my shirt. We all work together, and that's the thing with this game here. A lot of people keep secrets and stuff. Uh, they're afraid that uh, somebody's going to take their business from them or something like that. There's enough business here for everybody. And if everybody worked together, it would be a heck of a better world, I'll tell you. Okay, enough of that stuff. But anyhow, getting back here, this is the 20... 21 and she's running I just fixed uh, the oil leak here around the gauge I gotta put the breathers tube on here and also have to uh, put the breather here I have a box that I make my own breather box for up here I only vent here and here I I just don't go for venting the valve cover that's a preference uh, however you want to do that uh, 36 carbs just on for running it now. I'm going to run it a couple more times. I'll take it off, plug those holes so nothing gets in it. We're going to run the 1835 first, and then after the 1835, we'll probably run this motor. I'm also interested in running that 1600 that I built. And I'm going to be working on a 2100 uh, something. I don't know what it's going to be at uh, oh, uh, 78 by 94. So whatever that, I had to sit down and figure out what that's going to be. But uh, that'll be the last motor for a while. I've got to get back into doing trannies here now. i got uh, a bunch of them sold, and uh, uh, I'm going to have to do some of the cores that I have and get those done. But anyhow, that's where we are with this motor. It's, as far as I know, it's done. I hope it works as good as it sounded today, as you can hear on the other video. And uh, keep those uh, phones ringing. I had a lot of people call and ask questions. I don't mind taking the time out to answer them. I'm semi-retired here. I do this for fun more, more so. Uh, it's not a, a must thing. Uh, I love doing it, and uh, that's just me. But uh, call us, 412-384-8012 or 412-889-1541. And as you can see, we got a lot of Rancho Snickers up here, too, on the back wall. L.A.T. Oil, we sell. We sell Brad Penn Oil. I got my own stickers up here. Uh, probably be some more on this door as we go. We're going to start covering the door. We decided that. Anyhow, so there you go. From Gino's VW uh, on Friday night here, uh, we'll say 73s or goodbye. And have a good one. The 73s is my old ham talk. I'm used to saying that once in a while. So if you hear that, that means goodbye so long. Uh, that's how the amateur radio operators used to always uh, communicate. Now and then it slips out because you caught me there with it. Catch you all later from Gino's VW.